Now I'm not a, a master at step cutting. Fortunately, I was born a long time after the boys used to ice climb with the, just an axe. So I've done a couple of things here that are different with my axe. I've actually put a leash on. The idea of swinging my axe and throwing it behind me across the slope wouldn't be particularly good. And the idea of step cutting is I've been walking without crampons on my feet and I've got a short bit of firmer snow, some neve, that I've got to make progress across. Once I've got to the far side, it's fine for me to carry on without crampons on uh, and I, you know, I can safely carry on my walk. If that slope was a lot longer and it looked like we were going to carry on uh, in up a steeper slope, it would be at that point behind me that I would put crampons on and not look at step cutting. So the idea is I've got my axe held at the, the end of the axe. I'm going to reach down, I'm going to take a swing and I'm going to put a slice into the snow to get and kick the edge of my boot in. Super important that I'm slicing that foot in. I may have to then lean forward because I want to put another slice in here. I put an, okay, another slice, another one. And if it doesn't work, then you may well need a couple of slices. It might be a little bit firmer and I'm looking at a nice stable platform. So I can make safe progress across the slope. If you find it's quite hard work, just have a rest. You can always turn your axe and have a little bit of a breather. Look at where you're going, make sure it is still working to plan. So often the slope angle will change as we're making progress across. So I, I need to move with my legs to enable that the swing from, from of this arm to go satisfactory into the slope. So it's Okay, so it's either standing up or bending down. I've got to stand up a bit taller here because this slope's getting just that bit steeper. Now it may mean I need to have a better rest. I'm getting a little bit tired. So what I can do is I can make a bigger platform here. And then I can step both feet up into that and I can have a bit of a breather. The good thing about this as well is if I needed to turn around and go back in that direction, then I can, I'm now in a much stable, more stable position. So I can step out of here again. It looks like this bit of snow here is gonna be much, much easier. I'm gonna make a bigger platform here. And I'm gonna step into this and just have a bit of a poke around. And I reckon I'll be able to plant my ax in here and I can step into this. Now, still is a little bit, probably worth still cutting a few steps. So there are times when we need to go either directly down the slope or directly up the slope. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move down the slope so I've got a step here that I've made. I'm then going to bend my knees and I really need to get, it may be that you missed the first time. Make a slice, make a slice. And I'm really, you know, because the slope is dropping away from beneath me, I've really got to bend my knees to get to that angle. You know, that's the angle I've got there, swinging, stepping in. And as I step down, I've got this hand for balance on the slope. I'm still kicking this foot in. And I can make safe progress down the slope. And it's nice and slow. You know, the steps down are sort of deliberately kicked in, making sure that I've got a nice good platform. And often because we're not needing to wear crampons, we are in a position where we can reinforce the steps with the side of our boot especially these modern stiffer boots. Okay, so it may be that we need to move straight up the slope 
and I'm aiming to get to these rocks here. So I've got a, a flatter bit of ground that I'm going to head to. The reality is that we won't always get this on one strike. It takes a little bit more practice. And especially if it's, you're really trying to balance on this, you may well find that it takes a few more steps to make a really good platform for your foot. Again, think about your weight. When I'm going straight up the slope, I'm often putting one foot in front of the other, swinging it around. Okay, I could always change, put my axe down, kick a good step. Make a nice flat platform, step in. Okay, and if it takes a few strikes, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't need to be one slash step into it. And you're moving until you get to a nice safe place where it's nice and flat, and you can then safely progress without cutting steps. Okay, in summary then, we're not step cutting because we don't want to put crampons on. We've made a conscious decision that we're going from one small sec one safe ground to another safe ground with a small area of harder snow in between. The ground that we're on underneath, you know, the consequences of a slip aren't serious. If we're practicing, then it's a good idea to put a leash on and it may be no harm to carry a leash in your rucksack and then when you do come to do some step cutting, you can put that on. Once you've progressed to the other side, you can put the leash away. It is quite a hard skill, so it does take a little bit of practice and it's not a problem if you end up doing quite a few slices. If you get tired halfway, then just chop a big step so you can stand in it. Mm -hmm.